Hi everybody, Chris here. Welcome to my workshop. So, what I'm going to do today is more of a sort of like a video log. So, uh, I've been up to a couple of little different things, but the main thing that I've done lately is I've made a little bit of a dust extraction pipe that's, that can sit behind my lathe and collect the dust when I'm sanding and things. So, I want to show you, you know, roughly what that is and how I went about it. And, also a couple of other things that I've received of late and it's it's all sort of like woodworking related so I'll uh, get set up and then we'll talk about the dust extraction okay everybody I'm set up now so what you can see here is the blind wood turner patented dust extraction system version 1.0 quick lash up so uh, what I've got here is uh, it's my workshop vacuum and it's a wet and dry one it's an Erlex one but it about 15 years it's been a cracking a cracking machine works very well quite powerful so if I just let, let you have a look around in the garage I haven't really got any room at all for a dust extraction system not you know a good brand you know not a Naxminster or a Jet or any 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 of the good good names so I had to come up with a solution because in a confined space like this uh, the dust will be a problem I always wear dust masks and things like that when I'm sanding but uh, I was just getting to the point where I thought I need to be doing something a bit more, uh, not professional, but efficient. So, as you can see here, I've got the parts, I've got, this is the end that goes into the vacuum. So it's a, a square piece of MDF and then I turned this adapter because obviously these these 100mm fittings have no way no way whatsoever that you know they got the compliant with this so I made this adapter on the lathe I used my calipers and my talking tape measure and got the right dimensions and it's this it's this shape here so as the dust and shavings come out of the end they can fall down into the main body of the the vacuum cleaner obviously if this if this was just a straight tube and it went all the way back to the plastic plate that's inside it it just block all the time so under this spin dryer duct in is a piece of PVC pipe uh, which is epoxied onto this MDF and then the the adapter that I turned and hollowed out it was hollowed out just with a big force and a bit uh, so that fits in there like so And then at the other end, let's just feel, 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 feel. On the other end, I have an adapter. Same thing, it's the dryer ducting over some PVC pipe. It's on this MDF plate. And then I turned down and hollowed out another adapter. Now, this adapter. fits now this is a piece of domestic rainwater outlet so I'll just put the camera down and assemble this so that's simply a push fit it's nice and tight so obviously if I look inside there I hope I've got it. Let me just get my bearings, folks. 
right there you go I hope that works so obviously I've got sort of like a hopper there now to channel the, the dust in so I'll be back in a second when I've just got the pipe attached properly hold on okay I've got the the pipe there and I just put two holes on the MDF and a bungee cord that goes around the vacuum so it's held in place there and on the other side hope I'm getting that it's held in place there so that's holding the whole thing under tension it just stops it popping out and then obviously the the hoover sits on the floor here and then let me just and then the the pipe goes over the back and just rests I've yet to build some sort of cradle which will hold this nice and steady but I've just been resting it on things at the moment and it works so what I'm gonna do now is I'll just get some dust and things and show you that it works right I've got some paper here so I'm just going to turn the vacuum on and it is noisy so I apologize uh, so if you're wearing headphones or anything like that you just turn your volume down that's a good tip there given by uh, Brendan at BMAC and bacon soda so I'll just turn where's the button right I found the button <laughs> So there is suction there and the distance is that, that it's travelling, it hasn't reduced the suction too much so just bear with me a second right I'm gonna turn the hoover back on now I've just took the the rainwater outlet off off the end so let's just see if it'll suck this up now <laughs> Righty-o, it's all gone, so there you go, it works really well and it's it's a solution, albeit a bit of a Heath Robinson solution and it's not perfect but any dust extraction is better than none and it, it works really well, so I have used it when I've been sanding a project and uh, Andrea my wife she was stood there while I did the test and she said you could see the dust getting sucked in to the uh, the funnel at the end while I was sanding a project so you know the wife seen it in operation and she said it did work so that's good enough for me at the time being until I win the lottery and get a massive uh, workshop and then I can get it kitted out so I'll be back in a sec and we'll talk about some other things hi there so let's just write what you're seeing here is a series of templates that have been made for me by the very lovely Brendan over in Ireland also known as Bacon Soda or BMAC Wood Turning. So if you listen to Brendan's video just a short while ago about the puzzle that he made and it was the the little wooden balls that had to be moved from one side to the other uh, he had a little wooden template which helped him size the balls to the right dimension so what he's very kindly done is through talking to him on uh, messages and things like that he's made me a full a full set starting at 20 mil and they work all the way up to 55 millimeters and what he's done is 
I don't know if you can see but he's put a series of notches so there there's two notches so that tells me that that's 20 and then the next one has two notches on and then one notch on the side denoting 25 so if I just go to one random that's got one two three four five notches and no notches on the side I know that that's 50 mil so I'm going to hopefully get practicing at making some spheres because I want to incorporate some uh, sort of like spherical pommels on the top of vampire snakes I think that would feel and look pretty cool so many thanks Brendan for that I do appreciate it uh, and Brendan has had some experience uh, teaching the blind so he's, he's put his, his skills to good use there so thank you very much okay and what we have here now it's a piece of artwork done by a friend of mine called Leslie Fletcher now Leslie he lives in Reading and he's a massive horror fan uh, and he's into his metal and he's a biker and everything so sort of like kindred spirits in that respect so he was the recipient of that oak vampire steak that I made a few weeks ago so uh, as a lovely gesture in return he's, he's made me a tribute to Michael Myers so if I'll just get in closer so I can feel the eye there and the ear and the nose and it's got it's got a knife there and everything and it's blood splattered so I'm I'm absolutely overwhelmed and humbled by the kind gestures that you know are happening to me and you know things that people say and you know it's very much appreciated and you know I'll never forget gestures like this it's you know it's it's I could cry no one and then if I'm in line over somewhere over on the back wall it should be behind the freezer which should be over there you might be able to see a, a, a star like figure and that's that's the well the logo to Metallica the heavy metal band and again Leslie's made that on a laser cutter and uh, he, he sent that to me so just little reminders of you know part of who I am so once again Leslie thank you very much and thank you Brendan and thank you to everybody that's been so kind to me uh, and I'll pack this stuff up then and I'll show you a new tool rest that I've had made for me okay everybody back at the lathe now now in the banjo here is a tool rest I've had made for me by my brother-in-law so if I just get the standard tool rest and hold it next to it not only is this other one a fair bit longer which is good so it stops me falling off the edge so much of the small one it's completely flat and horizontal profile at the top uh, helps me like when I'm using let's say reach for one my carbide cutters which are obviously square section bar that's really really flat on there now and it keeps me perfectly flat and level now when I'm using the carbide cutters uh, because I don't want to be pivoting all over the place with a carbide cutter uh, like you can pivot a traditional gouge because I like to use these pretty much flat on uh, and if I did need to twist it a little bit I've still got more of a surface area uh, you know a, a point of contact it just keep, keeps me flatter and safer and happier so that was just uh, a piece of 16 mil 16 mil round bar uh, and some flat bar on top 
and I just gave him the measurements and he, he just made it for me so it works really well so I have used it so that's just made things a bit more easier and safer for me so uh, I think that's it now so I'll just turn the camera off and then we'll have a chat to say goodbye okay uh, there you have it folks just a few things that I've been up to and a few things that have been sent to me so uh, you're pretty much up to speed with all the latest developments apart from I've just had an order from the speed of sight uh, for five pens for a friend of theirs and she's got a she's got a well she runs a company so she's ordered five pens for clients of her so she wants them in mahogany so I've done one another four to do and then uh, they're gonna get engraved on the the clip uh, with her company company logo so that's good news so I'm busy pen turning uh, so I'd just like to say you know thank you very much to all the new subscribers uh, I appreciate it and please remember to like comment and subscribe to my videos uh, Eric Anderson said something the other day and it's it's true really you know uh, it's important that you subscribe because you know it does keep us motivated and it does take a lot of time to plan and shoot a video and edit it and upload it and uh, I'm not after any sympathy votes here because that's not what I'm about but you know it does take me a lot longer to accomplish anything with being blind and while I'm shooting videos the amount of times you know that I have to stop and I've knocked something over I'm, I'm forever you know going to reach something and knocking it flying and drill bits and emery cloth and sanding sealer I'm always knocking things over and losing things and when I'm positioning the camera because I'm on my own now I have to tape a bit of string to the top of the camera and then I hold the, the string taut to either my face or if I'm doing something and I want you to watch where my hands are I've got the camera angled with the string taut uh, so I'm trying to get the the camera aimed and focused you know in the ballpark uh, unless it unless it's not like handheld the camera and then I'm just I've got a rough idea where things are and that's why you'll occasionally see me touch to get me bearings so it does take me a lot a long time and a lot of effort uh, I don't find it frustrating, I find it very enjoyable, it's just, uh, you know, I would, you know, be grateful if you, you did give me the thumbs up and subscribe, so it does mean a lot to me, and I know I say it, I say it a lot, you hear me say it a lot, I appreciate it, and I do honestly and sincerely mean that, I really do appreciate it, so thanks for joining me today, remember to like, comment and subscribe, thanks to all my friends out there in YouTube land, <coughs> Thank you.